I wouldn't say it's like like work on it. I just think in college terms, I would need to learn like more with the like the defensive as Indiana wants to put in. So like I'm a good defensive player, but they just want you in certain spots. I just think I just need to keep building on that. What about offensively? Uh, offensively, I mean we're just getting better each day. Yeah. Just keep working. But I mean I've been doing, I've been holding, I've been holding my own. So just just keep going. Indiana's had two straight Big Ten freshmen of the year. Do you, do you embrace that? Yeah, most definitely. That's the plan. Just gotta keep working. What's impressed you about uh, Miles Rice and Kane and Carlin? What they, like, what they can bring? How hard they work. They work really hard. They both have high IQs. And I mean, just playing with them, being on the same team as them, you just keep learning. Just especially me, because I like to run. Both of them are super fast. So if you get out and run with them, you're gonna, it's gonna be a good day. Watching some film of you, like from high school days, it seemed like you were really comfortable in the mid range. Mm -hmm. You don't see a lot of emphasis on that, but I mean, how, how did you develop maybe to be comfortable in that area? Or was that kind of just taking what you were given at that level, or what was that? That's a good question. I mean, I think when I was coming up, you know, how most most high school guys is usually either they're just a straight shooter well, or they're just like a straight slasher. So it's like when you do a certain move in high school and you just stop and just pull up, dudes aren't like really expecting it. So they just like. Like if you watch certain clips, like certain dudes, I would do a move and they would just keep running. So it was like they just they just didn't know it was coming. So me and my dad, we worked on that a lot. Heading into your first season with Indiana, what do you want Indiana fans to do today? Uh, I work hard every day. I mean, I'm here to win. Just yeah, expect me to come out there and try to win these games. Has there been any like welcome to college moments in the summer and workouts or anything like that where you're like, wow, these, this is a different level? Or have you felt pretty comfortable the whole time? Yeah, I felt pretty comfortable. It's been, it hasn't really been anything that really like caught me off guard. Actually, I'm curious, like, for when you committed here, mm -hmm. uh, there was a lot of the rest of this roster that got sort of built after yeah. you. Like, like, how exciting was that for you, like day after day after day, when, when Omar comes, when Miles comes? Like, how exciting was that just to watch this whole team get put together? I mean, it was huge, because I mean, obviously you guys know, like right when I committed, I think Liam just decommitted. So it was like, it was a lot going on. And so when they when I saw all those names coming out, I did like some research on them, and I was like, man, we we're, they're definitely building a good team. But was it kind of weird committing here, kind of not knowing who you're going to be playing? That's a great question. Um, it was just a little bit, but I mean, you come here and then you saw like he said all those names that were coming, and it was like you know like the coaching staff, I got a, like a vibe from them that they were going to be able to build what we have, like the the current guys and then the new guys that came in. So I think I think it would be solid. What role have your parents played in shaping you as this person and as a basketball player? Everything, because I we haven't really had any other like coaches in my life besides high school. Because it's like without the AAU thing, you know, a lot of AAU guys they like tag along with the kids and stuff. But it's like we, it's just it's just been me and my parents, just the whole ride, really.